uh, video. I am going to start with a male torso back. I need a second piece of paper because torsos are longer. I need my menswear book, although I don't follow the menswear book for this because I don't really like how they do it. But I have to find it. Does anybody know what page it's on? Do you have your paper? Yeah. Maybe. What page did you say? 149. Yes. It's not on 149. Pattern making for men. There we go. It is on 197 in the men's wear book. So it is going to have us do this slash style, which means we are just going to trace the whole thing first. Make sure that you put your reference marks, which are your chest line, your waistline, um, your notches. So I just draw it all over my slopers. I'm using the men's torso. No women's will work. Um, the men's torso says size 40 half scale and the women's says size 10 half scale. The women torsos and bodices all have darts. The men do not. They are just a straight rectangular box. I'm just going to tape this paper together because it's going to give me a hard time otherwise. Okay. So the back tells us to find halfway point, or the book tells us to find halfway point in the arm's eye and to make a notch and to find, you know, where you're going to put in your waistline and your, your chest line. And it has a mathematical formula on how this is all gonna work and how you're gonna keep it proportional. And that's all beautiful, right? What if you don't like it? Sweet, don't do it. Pick where you want that line to end. We're doing an arm's eye end or terminus because we already did a shoulder one on the front and we're just trying a different method. So I'm just gonna say right here, right about the, right above the notch is about where that's gonna come out. Because on the body, that's going to be right as the arm's eye is exiting the armpit and coming out towards the front of the body. Now, do you want it a big, fat swinger? Do you want it an itty-bitty little color blocking? What do you want your line to be? Decide. Just choose it. Put it on there. Now, right here at the waistline, we are going to put a mark a quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch on either side. And we need to be thinking about how that princess line is gonna shape. What's the purpose of a princess line? We are taking out some fabric. We're replacing a dart. The male sloper doesn't have any darts, but this is very similar in process to putting a contour dart in the middle. Okay, we want there to be a gap of fabric here. <clears throat> so, but down here at the waist, we actually need a little bit more, our hip line, we need a little bit more fabric. So we're gonna make a mark a quarter of an inch on either side down here as well at the hemline. I'm like, I'm just giving you two and a half pages of instructions in like four steps because it's so much simpler. So make sure you have like three eighths of an inch on your half scale sloper on either side of your waistline. 
and about a quarter of an inch on either side of your hip line. Now for your center piece, you are going to start on the opposite side of your style line, whatever style line you chose. So start on the opposite side to the front. And you're gonna start over here and you're gonna cross the line and come over here and then you're gonna come back up to the arm's eye. And you're gonna do the same thing with the side piece. You're gonna start here and you're gonna cross to this side and then come back up to the arms piece, okay? Now I can draw these lines in, but unless I use a different colored pencil, it's you're gonna have a hard time seeing it. So this one is gonna come this way. Does that make sense? Can you see my style line? Whoop, told you that paper was gonna give me a problem. That's my style line. So I started over here and I crossed it and then came back up to where I wanted to end. I need like pink or something. For my other line, I would start here. Okay, it's gonna give you two very strange pieces. Now, I can tell you from experience that the men's belly needs a little bit of shaping or else you get a weird pucker right here. So, it's like a quarter of an inch and just from center front whoop, to chest line, you're just gonna smooth that in. Now this piece, your center front now comes down the blue line, swings out at the hip, comes over here, swings in at the belly, up to the neck, across the neck, down the shoulder, down partial of the arm's eye. That's the center front. The side front is gonna do this little third of the arm's eye, come down the blue line, I mean the red line, swing out at the hip, come back up, come up side seam. 